Today we're out here in Southern California with one of the most innovative steering systems available in North America, and it's going to be found on the new Lexus RZ450e. Now, to be honest, some folks are going to say this is an answer in search of a problem, uh, but let's talk about what's going on with this system and how it is different than the other steering wheel available in North America that looks suspiciously similar to this. Uh, of course, that would be the Tesla yoke. This is the Lexus yoke, although they haven't said yoke is the official terminology for this steering wheel. What's different about this versus the Model S or the Model X is that in the Tesla lineup, they basically just took a regular car, jammed a different steering wheel on it. It has the same number of turns lock to lock as a regular steering wheel. And you'll notice this does not. Here when this is parked, this is as far as the yoke moves. And if I close the door here, you can see that that results in the wheels up front moving about the same as a 2.7 turn lock to lock steering wheel. At low speeds, we get that really aggressive steering ratio. So this amount of turning causes the wheels to turn their maximum extent up front. But at higher speeds, it's going to slow way down so that way it doesn't get jerky out on the highway. And that's all enabled by the steer by wire system. In a traditional variable gear ratio steering rack, you wouldn't be able to have this much adaptation. Now, structurally, there's some other changes to the dashboard. The instrument cluster becomes higher and further away from the driver. So this portion of the dash has also been changed in the model with this particular option. Now, uh, apparently it takes a little bit of getting used to, so Lexus has set up a tiny course here for us to try this out on. Let's just go ahead and give it a whirl. You'll definitely notice that the motion of the car is very exaggerated with the steering wheel in this position. So just a slight turn of the steering wheel causes a great rotation of the vehicle. And uh, it definitely takes some getting used to, but you can see it requires a lot less motion of the steering wheel to do these parking lot maneuvers. This is very different than in a Model S or Model X, where you're really trying to go hand over hand with a yoke. And here, you just go to this position and then you change to this position. It is really wacky at first and can feel a little on the jerky side, um, but this is the very first time I have driven a car like this. so. I can see why they have decided to have this cone course. I am really curious to see who is going to be interested in a steering rack like this because it is a very different feel than people are used to. I could see some classic Lexus owners not really caring for the way this rack feels because it does make the vehicle feel jerky, especially in really tight maneuvers at times, but it offers a lot less effort as far as steering than you'll find in a traditional steering rack and traditional steering wheel arrangement. It still, however, kind of comes across as an answer in search of a problem, but let's try it out on the road. This video is brought to you by Carmigo. Carmigo is the easier way to sell your car. You can list it in minutes by taking just 13 pictures on your smartphone. And then within one day, dealerships around the country are vying for your business and bidding on the car that you want to sell. The process is quick and easy. After answering a few questions, Carmigo's software guides you through taking pictures of your car, even giving you an outline of exactly the kind of shot that Carmigo is looking for. After setting a minimum price, you just sit back and wait for the offers to roll in. They'll even pick it up for you. If you're interested in giving Carmigo a try for yourself, use the link at the bottom of your screen, they'll give you $50 off the seller fee. Now it's time to get the yoke out on the road. The first thing you're going to notice is that a lot of the controls that would normally be mounted on the steering column and would be stationary have been relocated right here to the yoke or the wheel, whatever you want to call it itself. So things like the turn signal stock, the windshield wiper stock, those are on the steering wheel and they turn with it. Of course, we have the regen paddles on the back as well. And then they've even relocated things like the headlamp controls and the adjustment for the windshield wipers itself to the face of the steering wheel. The arrangement of everything does take a bit of getting used to, especially if you tend to be a little lazy with your turn signals like I can sometimes be where you're already starting to turn and you're just reaching out your finger to turn the turn signal stock as you're turning the steering wheel. Thanks to this system's ability to very drastically change the steering ratio above about 45 miles an hour or so, this system feels basically the same as the regular RZ's steering rack. So not a lot of steering input creates not a lot of steering change for the vehicle. But at lower speeds, especially as you start slowing down, you'll really notice that that steering ratio starts drastically changing. So as we're coming up to this stoplight up here, you'll notice that uh, we start slowing down and a little bit less steering input is required. So you actually have to unwind the steering wheel a little bit to make these changes. And then by the time we get to this turn lane right there, 
very little input is required to just drastically steer this around. Lexus has been a little bit cagey about future applications for this steer-by-wire system, but you can expect this to make its way into other Lexus models at some point soon. I'm really going to be interested to get this at home and see what it's like to drive this out on a more fun winding mountain road. They say that there's definitely some performance benefits, but there's also the ease of making a U-turn with just a simple flick of the steering wheel like that, although as you can see, getting a natural arc does take a little bit more practice than I've had with this system so far. It may also make it easier to deliver automated or semi-automated driving technologies in the future because we don't have that physical link to the steering rack to worry about. Now we need to talk about the elephant in the room, which is the timing of the release of this system. From the 30,000 foot perspective, it certainly looks like Lexus is copying Tesla with the yoke steering wheel. But that's absolutely not what's going on because again, Tesla simply bolted a yoke onto the steering rack of a regular car. So nothing behind the steering wheel changed, just the steering wheel, which is why you can get a regular round steering wheel in those vehicles now. Although Lexus won't talk specific development timelines, this system was under development for years and years before anyone at Tesla ever said, hey, let's put a cooler steering wheel on the S and the X. Obviously, the close timing of these two systems is going to cause an endless stream of memes and, of course, internet conspiracies, but we'll leave that aside. The design of this system would make it very easy to adapt this vehicle to left-hand and right-hand drive countries because there's no physical connection, so the steering wheel could be anywhere you want it to be. It could also help reduce bulking of the dashboard because you wouldn't need that big, bulky steering column since there's no mechanical linkage, of course. Now, again, the mission is also different between this and the Infinity system, because in the Infinity system, we don't have the small number of turns lock to lock. Again, this is this very quick ratio to go around a corner. In the Infinity, it feels much more like a regular steering rack because the ratio spread is very, very similar. Both systems are definitely trying to filter out input from the road back through the steering column to the driver. So as you're going over potholes, things like that, You'll notice that this steering rack doesn't bop around like the one in the Model S and Model X, where it can actually end up pulling the steering wheel out of your hand if you're not careful. This filters those things out. If you're going in a straight line, it's still pointed in a straight line. Now, there is a little bit of feedback that is programmed back through, but it's designed to filter out some of those extraneous inputs that could be tiring. For some folks, this is going to be the coolest thing they have ever seen. For others, it's just going to be silly and they're probably going to want the regular steering wheel. And that's why it's going to be optional on the top end version of the RZ. It's not going to be standard on any particular trim. Let me know where you fall on that divide down there in the comment section. I'm a little bit torn still. I think I would get an RZ with the regular round steering wheel and the regular steering rack. That has nothing to do with the steer-by-wire system, just the nature of the steer-by-wire system at lower speeds, where I do find it a little bit jittery and a little bit more difficult to get used to. Uh, but let me know what you think about that down there in the comment section. And check out, of course, the full video review on this 2023 Lexus RZ. You'll find that on the channel, on the EV Buyer's Guide channel specifically. Uh, and if you want to know more about the steer-by-wire system, we'll try and work on another video to answer some questions. So pop those questions down there in the comment section and we'll see if we can get to them in a future video. See all of you later.